Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and for the last time ever, I come to you from this setup. This is the, the last ever time you see the posters behind me, you see me from this sort of angle. It'll all change from tomorrow, um, so thank you for being on this part of the journey. We'll move on to the next very shortly, but it means we've got one more thing to do, and that's make a video, uh, and we're going to preview the game tomorrow against Hearts in the Premiership, a game that just like last week can all but seal the title for Celtic. Um, it can't be mathematically done. Um, quite yet, but it's basically game over if we win. As always, please make sure to hit like and subscribe if you're new around here. The subscribe button would be very much appreciated because we are very close to our next landmark. I think we're about 200 subscribers away now from 34,000, which would be insane, so if you could go down there below, and yeah, this will probably be a shorter one today, I've still got a lot of, I've got to take the setup apart in the next like two hours, and then transfer it to the new surroundings, so I've got to get a, a move on really, uh, with the editing and everything else, so yeah, let's get this done, let's talk quickly about Celtic's game against Hearts tomorrow. I already know that the comments section is going to be full of a certain fan, <laughs> a certain fan base I should say, um, in regards to last night's football match that was on, um, and honestly, you know what, I have to address it, um, I don't have any remorse for you West Ham, um, Frankfurt deserved it, and you West Ham fans that might be in the comments shouting about how you were cheated or how you haven't made the final, it's not the place for it, so it's fine, we can avoid that for now. The big topic is Celtic tomorrow playing Hearts and what could be basically, essentially, a title decider once more. We went into that game at Ibrox last week, also, of course, in the, in the same sort of position. We went in knowing that if we won the game, it was basically done. The league title would have been decided. We didn't win the game. We ultimately drew with Rangers. And it's kind of extended the wait for this, this title victory. Um, tomorrow against Hearts is a chance to just get the job done. And then if Rangers were to say drop, drop points on Sunday, then that would be drop, job done. But we've got to focus on ourselves. And, and, and Ange Postacoglu spoke on that. And, and I think he's made it very clear that, you know, there's no point in looking elsewhere right now. Uh, we've got to keep moving on, there's no room for complacency and we've got to focus on ourselves and that's the exact sort of attitude that you want to hear from the manager, you want to hear from the team uh, and it's the sort of one you'd expect. Um, th you know, there is great things of course going on for Rangers at the moment, um, can't deny that sadly. Um, uh, but you know, Celtic have got to focus on themselves, we've got a league title to win here and we want to get the job done, you don't want to delay that any further and let's not mix things up here, Hearts tomorrow is a tough game. Um, it is at Celtic Park, which means we should be winning, um, and I would imagine the odds are considerably in our favour, but, you know, it's a game that is going to be tricky. Hearts have had a phenomenal season, um, to say the least. I know they dipped a little bit coming into the second half of the season, but they've still had a, a great season. They've secured themselves European football next year. Robbie Nielsen has came straight up from the Championship and done that, and, and they want revenge for the last game that we played Hearts in, if you remember rightly. That last game at Tyne Castle, it was a bit of a snatch and grab for Celtic. For as good as we were when we scored our goals in the game, if you remember and take yourselves back, it was right before um, the, the, the derby in February. I think it was late January, early February time we played them. Late January it would have been. And uh, if you remember rightly, that second half of the game, Hearts were all over us. We were really knackered. And it looked as though they were right up for it. And they were the much better team in the second half. And we ended up giving away a penalty. I completely forgot about this till the other day. We ended up giving away a penalty. Liam Boyce missed the penalty. It rolled off the line after hitting the post. And it was a really nervy one and what was an obviously crucial point of the season. And that's one of those games now that I think we can look back on and say it was pivotal, pivotal to where we are now. It was one of those deciding moments as to where this title was going to end up. That was one of those games that helped swing the pendulum because for as poor as we were in that second half and for as much pressure that we came under, we held on, we'd done our job and ultimately we walked away from a toxic time castle with three points. So that was huge for us that night. So that sort of game, that sort of ability Hearts know to get in amongst us is certainly going to be the sort of attitude they bring to the game tomorrow at Celtic Park. Now, Against them at Celtic Park, we've been okay. We've been, I mean, we've we've, we've won both uh, on so far both occasions. We played them in the cup. We played them in the league. Um, 
But if you remember, I think it was that cup one that they scored two in the second half. They looked okay. And of course, they beat us in the opening game of the season at Tynecastle. So Hearts is always a mixed bag. You never know what to expect. Um, and we're at that point of the season now that, yeah, it might not be as competitive because things are kind of wrapped up for everybody. Um, and there's not much else to fight for. But believe me, Hearts will come to Celtic Park as if there's something to fight for. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it and hopefully we do get the win and it kind of brings in that atmosphere of, of winning the league title. I felt like that was there right at the end last week, but it was a, there was a little bit missing from the game, I thought, at Celtic Park against Rangers. I thought that for as much as we had that opportunity to kind of essentially win the league against them, throughout the game, the atmosphere wasn't quite there. Um we need to bring that this time, and I hope we do. Uh, as for team selection and such, I think we're going to see probably a very similar team to what played against Rangers last week. Um, you know, I don't see many changes happening. Juranovic is obviously one of the talking points. I don't think he'll come back into the team tomorrow. Um, I just have a feeling Ralston will stay in there. I think this is now an opportunity, and I'm not saying that we now just kind of go out and, and, and fizzle out to the end of the season without trying, but I think this is now an opportunity to sort of give players a well-needed rest. Granted, we get the result we need tomorrow and we're in a good position, but we can still do that with Ralston. But the other one is like Hatate, for example. I'd like to see him dropped from the team. I'd like to see him just be rested now to the end of the season. Like, if we can do the job without the likes of Juranovic, without the likes of Hatate. For me, there's no really a point in rushing Juranovic back into the team now when we know Tony Ralston can do good enough a job. He's had a couple of good games against Hearts as well, keep in mind. Uh, that goal in the opening game of the season coming straight to memory. But, you know, we've got a team there that is more than good enough. Um, I think without playing Hitati, who looks burned out, without rushing Juranovic back in from a, a, an injury, to go and get the job done. And I think there's also room for other bits of rotation. There's and now a chance, I think, the last few games of the season for a few players to stake their claim to remain here. Will they be given that opportunity? I, I don't quite know. But I would like to see a couple of changes like that. I would like to see the likes of, of, of Hitati drop out, Juranovic, just to stay out. Um, so if I was to go for my 11 very quickly, I think it would be hard and goals with the same back four that played last week. Ralston, Carter Vickers, Starfelt and Greg Taylor. In the middle, that that's this is where the, the, the thing kind of changes, doesn't it? Will Turnbull maybe get back into the start in 11? I, I would like to see him get a start. Um, will he come back in? I'm, I'm not too sure. Because you could move McGregor up, you could start beat on. Um, I just want to see Hitati dropped. And if he is dropped, you know what? I'm going to go a bit left field here. And I don't think this will happen. But I'm going to say I'd like to see beat on McGregor and O'Reilly. That's the three that I'd like to see. Now, I know it didn't exactly do wonders for us last week when beat on came off the bench and McGregor moved up. But this is from the start of a game. It's a different game, a different opposition. Um, I'm going to go with that just now, but if Turnbull's ready to start the game, I wouldn't mind him starting. I'd maybe like to see him come in. And for the front three, I'd love to see Abada get a start. I really would. I think it's been a, a wee while since we've seen him start a game. And I know Maida and Jota have been playing absolutely tremendously. Um, and they deserve to stay in the team. But I just want to see Abada now at Celtic Park one or two more times start a game. Um, but who will he start? Will Jack and Marcus maybe come back in? I think so. I think Jack and Marcus will start up front. But I do think he'll keep Maida and Jota either side of him. Um, I think he'll go return to the bench for this game. Once again, someone who probably doesn't need rushed right back into the team at the moment. So maybe take a little step back and, and let things happen. Um, for my score prediction, I'm going to go for Celtic 2 hearts nil, And that's going to do it for today. A bit of a rushed one. But as I said, I'm so, so busy. My apologies, guys. Um, but, you know, starting next week, hopefully we'll be settled. We'll be back and we'll be a new era on the 118 channel. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all next time.